Hey gang, Nicole here. I was recently in the forums and I saw this great topic that came up where community member Jennifer Green was inquiring about how to automatically jump to the next slide when all four layers on a slide have been visited without having to click a next button. So a few additional parameters were that the learner has to view the entire layer before it jumps to the next slide and that the learner is able to view the layers in any order. So there are definitely multiple ways to accomplish this in Storyline, but I'm going to show you what I think is a pretty simple and straightforward way of doing this. So here's an example of the finished product that we're going to create. There are four buttons and each one displays a corresponding layer. When the timeline on the layer ends, the button becomes orange, which is a custom state that we've created. And when all four buttons have the custom state, the project automatically jumps to the next slide. So let me break down how I created this. We're going to start out in a new storyline project that I've created. The project has two slides, slide one and slide two. The first thing that I will do is disable the next and previous button on slide one here in the slide properties because I don't want the next button to be available. The next thing I will do is create a button on slide one. I'll call this button layer one and I will go into the states tab and create a custom state called completed, which I will make bright orange. I'll also delete the visited state because it actually gets in the way of what we're trying to accomplish here. The reason we can't use the predefined visited state for this is because by default the visited state appears as soon as you click the button. But in this case, we don't want the state to become visited until the entire layer has been viewed. So we're creating our own custom state. So now I will copy and paste this three more times to create all four buttons and then I'll name each one accordingly. You'll notice that I've already created my four layers. Each one has a simple rectangle with some text. And I'll now set up the triggers for my four buttons to show the respective layer when it's clicked. So I'm going to add a trigger to each button so it shows the corresponding layer. Now that each button links to a layer, the next step is to add a trigger on each layer that will adjust the state of the button to completed when the layer has been viewed until the end of the timeline. To do this, we add the trigger and select change state of button 1 to completed when the timeline ends on this layer. If we look at the timeline, we'll see that the duration of this layer is two seconds. This means after two seconds, when the timeline is complete, the button state will become completed. Let's have a look. And voila! Now I'm going to copy and paste this trigger to our three other layers and simply update the button with the correct layer. The last thing we'll do is add another trigger on each layer. This trigger says, jump to the next slide if all four layers have been viewed. So to set up this trigger, we'll do as follows. Jump to next slide when timeline ends on this layer if, and then we add our conditions. The four conditions are that each button has the completed state. This is how we know that the learner has viewed all four layers in their entirety. The next thing we'll do is copy and paste this trigger and add it to each of our three other layers. The reason we add this trigger to each layer is because the learner can view the layers in any order. So regardless of which layer they are currently on, if all four have been viewed, it will jump to the next slide. And there you have it. Now if we preview this project, you'll see that the button displays the custom state when the timeline for the layer ends. And when all four buttons display the custom state, a trigger automatically brings the learner to the next slide. So that's one way that you can automatically jump to the next slide when all your layers have been viewed in their entirety. 
I'm going to post this video tutorial as a response to Jennifer in the forums, and I hope this might help someone else along the way. Thanks. Have a good one.